Today we're in Proverbs 19, where King Solomon begins by saying, Better is the poor who walks in his integrity than one who is perverse in his lips and is a fool. Integrity describes a person who is righteous, innocent, or blameless. So what this wise king is saying is that living a righteous life is better than living in a crooked or perverse way. This idea of righteousness is a major theme in the book of Proverbs, and the word righteousness appears in over 500 verses throughout Scripture. That's not counting words like integrity in verse 1 or discretion in verse 11, which virtually mean the same thing. Verse 11 says discretion or righteousness of a man makes him slow to anger and his glory is to overlook a transgression. Letting go of an offense is a godly virtue and this proverb says it's a person's discretion or righteousness that gives them the ability to be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to get angry. Will Rogers said whenever you fly into a rage, you seldom have a safe landing. It's also been said, when we give someone a piece of our mind, it's typically a piece that we can't afford to lose. God's solution to controlling our tongue and to keep from getting angry sounds impossible. He says, overlook the offense. Let it go, forget about it. And that's the right thing to do. As imitators of Jesus, we're called to exhibit self-control just like Jesus did. It's an attribute that's naturally produced as a product or a fruit of His Spirit residing in us. So how do we live out His righteousness when we've been hurt or offended? We submit to Jesus' authority in our life. That's what we signed on for. We sincerely ask for a fresh filling of His Spirit to handle the offense. We forgive because we've been forgiven so much. So the next time someone offends you, let God's Spirit control your emotions and your response. Let it go. Forgive as He has forgiven you. And watch what the Lord will do as you follow His example of right living.